Good afternoon, Blue Beamers. My name is Troy DeGroat with U Chapter 2, and I'm excited to partner with the team at Brighter Graphics to deliver world class Bluebeam training and customization services so you can get the most out of your Bluebeam investment. To start out, I always like to do my presentations with the Review Advanced Profile, and that will lay out several tools along the left side. We've talked about in the past um, when we introduce the different panels. We've got more on the right side. And so we're going to go through the first thing we want to do. The most important thing that we need to do before we take any measurements is calibrate the drawing. So uh, there's a couple different ways. I'm going to go over to the ruler over here. That's our measurement panel. A couple other places you might find your measurements are potentially up here across the top in your toolbars. You'll also find them under the tools menu under measurements. You have all your measurement tools here. I like to use mine over here on the right side. I leave this panel open and uh, so that I can see all my measurement tools across the top. And so what you'll see here, the most important button on here is calibrate. Before I show you how to do that, there is a preset. So if the title block or the drawing title tells you what size the drawing is at. You could come into the preset, use this drop down menu and select the scale of your drawing. And that will calibrate it. So all your measurements will respect that scale. Uh, I tell all of my students every time to never do it that way. Uh, I don't trust the title blocks that they were printed correctly. I don't trust that they're not a scan of a scan and off in all directions. So I like to increase my chances of getting it accurate by using the calibrate button. And how that works, I'm going to click on that. It's going to tell me to select two points of a known dimension. So I'm going to click OK here. And I'm going to zoom in somewhere where I know a dimension. In this case, I've got 30 feet from grid 6 to grid 7. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that grid line. I like to hold my shift key so it draws a straight line over to the next grid line. Click there. And then this window pops up. And it's basically saying this random distance on the piece of paper equals one foot. And we know that's not true. We know it's 30 feet. So I'm going to update that. If you want to... Um, switch the units you can do that in here as well how you want those to report and then i'm going to say apply scale and now my drawing any dimensions that i do on there are going to be accurate to the scale that i just gave it regardless of how it's printed on the sheet it's going to be accurate to what we just calibrated uh, i hope you learned a thing or two you can apply it to your work immediately. Uh, if you have any questions regarding training or customization services for your company, don't hesitate to reach out to the team at Brighter Graphics or myself. Uh, we'd be happy to help you with those.